Okay, what's up, people? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Notorious V. Yeah, I've been going for a hot minute, you know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't done videos in a minute. Just been trying to get things together, you know what I'm saying? I'm moving in a few weeks, get a new spot, start doing tons more video. Um, I wasn't going to kick off a new video until uh, January, you know what I'm saying? Start the new year right. But something pisses, is pissing me off right now that's kind of like real, real, real crazy. And it's got to do, as you can tell by the title, with the Sony. Sony just dropping a ball so many times. Now, keep in mind, I've been with Sony since PS1, you know what I'm saying? Had the PSP, uh, both versions. I didn't I didn't get the, the, the PSP Go because that was just a, a, a major flop. But so I, I'm, not a, I'm not an Xbox fanboy. I'm not a Sony fanboy. I, I just like good systems. If it's good, I'll buy it. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what it is. Like, I almost brought that uh, on live crap. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, Sony recently, this over this past last weekend, released a Sony Vita in Japan only. Okay? And it released on Saturday. You could, you could probably check YouTube and see, like, 30, 40 vids of people unboxing it. It was 3G version and the Wi-Fi version of yada, yada, yada. Okay? But here in America and other countries, we don't get it till February 22nd. Sony. Really? Like, how do you even, how do you even explain that? Number one, I want to be in the Sony of America boardroom when they say, you know what? Yo, check this out. Let's totally miss the whole holiday Christmas season, right? And then in February, where there's nothing really major going on, no holidays or nothing like that, let's go ahead and put it out at the end of February. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. And it's and, and you got to keep in mind, it, you, you can't say, oh, the system's not ready because they're selling it in Japan. You can't say we don't have enough. Because if you don't have enough systems, that only creates more buzz for you. Just like with the Wii. They didn't have enough. They didn't say, oh, let's, let's not sell it in North America no, they were like, we'll sell it. People are, that creates need for it because now the dude who may have been on the fence about getting it just because of the simple fact he can't get it will make him want it now. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's simple economics, like supply and demand. The, the, high, the less the, the supply, the higher the demand will be in most cases. And in this case, you had the holiday season to rake. You, do you understand how much money they would have made? Think about it. That would have been that would have been the hot holiday item, because the 3DS already been out. Not really a whole slew of lineup of games came out for Christmas for 3DS. If you really think about it, the only 3DS game that came out that was worth anything was Mario Kart 7 and Mario Land 3D, which I got. I got Mario Land 3D, and Mario Kart is pretty much just the same old, same old. It's just in 3D. So it, Nintendo didn't really have a big showing. They sold a lot of units. Because they're the only game in town. And it's like Sony did the same thing last time with the PS3 and the Xbox. Xbox came out Christmas 2005, I think. It was ready by. And they swept up the numbers. Sony released later on the next year, like October, November. And it was like, yeah, and they did they know. I'm not going to lie to you. Sony did their numbers, but it wasn't how Xbox did it. And it wasn't, like, you got to understand, in America... Whether you celebrate Christmas, Kwanzaa, uh, whatever you celebrate, we go into, Americans go into a spending frenzy when it comes to stuff like um, spending stuff. We, we go into a frenzy, and if you haven't seen it, you know, I said I grew up, you know what I'm saying? I was growing up, like, right when I hit the age of like 17, 18, that Pokemon crap came on the scene. You see what I'm saying? And. I remember parents standing in line for Pokemon toys, like fist fighting in Toys R Us on 34th Street for a Pokemon, because they kids had to catch them all. Spending all kinds of money on eBay and all this other stuff. And I'm sitting here like, you know, yo, like we spend money, recession, unemployment rate, yada yada yada. Yeah, that's here. But think about this. America was in a recession during when iPad 2 was released. They couldn't fill the stores fast enough with iPad 2 to keep up with demand. And this is, you're talking about at the cheapest entry, you're talking about a $500 device. 
no sales, no coupon, a $500 point blank device. And they couldn't keep it. I, I, remember, I remember when I was looking for my iPad too, I used to go to the Apple store every morning and they'd be like, nah, we don't got any. People, and there would be like 10, 20 people lined up outside hoping and waiting that they would have one so they could purchase one. So I say all that to say is Sony, you missed out on a lot of money because gamers are gonna buy it. I'm not saying oh nobody's gonna buy the Vita, yada yada yada. Gamers are gonna buy it. I'm gonna be it on it day one, February, whatever day it come out in America, I'm gonna buy it. Okay? But what Sony needed to realize is that if you're not a gamer, if you're just mom or uncle or auntie or grandma. You've already spent hundreds of dollars during Christmas. So you're not going to be like, oh, yeah, I just bought your 3DS for 169 and 20, 10, 5 games or whatever. Oh, let me turn around and buy you a $250 another handheld. It's not going to happen. And it's like, so I don't understand how, how do you miss that? Like, everybody guns for the big holiday season. Everybody does. And I just don't understand because, like, I, I went to eBay because I was tempted to go and get the Japanese version, of course. You know what I'm saying? I could have did a little unboxing. I was tempted. But then I thought about it and I said, you know what? I don't want to fall into that trap of getting something, paying way over the price for something, and number and have two things wrong with it. Now, even if it's not region coded, the PS Vita, you're gonna have two problems. You got the first problem is all the most of the instructions on the game will be in Japanese, which I saw in a couple games. And Japanese games are way different than ours way different like yeah they had Ridge Racer and they had like two other games and it was just like they, they're they more RPG fantasy or, or yeah, based games so it was like you by the time the, the major titles that we were all looking for like the Drake's Uncharted and, and all the other games that we want came out it's those won't come out until February so it, you would basically be sitting there with a night hot system but not be able to do anything and that's a lot of that's the problem with a lot of Systems, handhelds, and consoles, when they first come out, they don't have really hot, must have titles for it. The only thing I can think of was when uh, Xbox came out with Call of Duty 2, and that was a fire game. But, it, you know, other than that, they had like Peter Jackson's King Kong, and I was like, okay, whatever. But anyway, the main reason for this video is just I don't understand what Sony is thinking. They could have had their, they could have had their product been the number one product for Christmas. Which says a lot. It does say a lot for shareholders, for just your value brand. And just, I just don't understand a February release date. I can even understand January, but two months after your product is already out in, in Japan, I don't understand that. I really don't understand it. And another thing is, is that Xbox for the Christmas, they had the Connect connect bundles, packages, so they, they, so Xbox did their thing, they're like, hey, check this out, we got a brand new dashboard out, uh, we got the connect you can use with it, you know, his, you know, and they sold, Sony has had nothing for this Christmas, you can't name one product Sony has come out with this Christmas, like, if you have a PS3, you don't have anything, there was no, there were no new games released exclusively for the Sony, they didn't even push the move that much this Christmas. It's just kind of like, they're like, eh, eh, we'll deal with it later. And I just don't understand that. I don't understand that philosophy of missing the holiday season. Like, I want to know what the boardroom conversation was to say, let's push it back to February, but release it in Japan now. Like I said before, Sony, you need to get it together. I'm praying and hoping that the launch goes well for the Vita in America. But you really, you really lost out on it. You, you could have basically kind of pushed Nintendo out the way because all they had was Mario Kart 7 in December. So you could have really pushed Nintendo to the side with your system selling like hotcakes for 250 But I digress and plug. Anyway, y'all, stay tuned for more videos coming soon. It's your boy Notorious V. Just had a little get that off my chest real quick because it made me kind of upset. But y'all, stay tuned for videos. I'm going to do some uh, definitely unboxings. Uh, definitely more some iPad app review videos and just some just some just stay tuned because there's a lot of stuff coming to the Notorious V channel. Uh, got a lot of stuff I'm working on for 2012. So just stay tuned, stay subscribed, and uh, I'll be back.